This college football picks week nine edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog has just added Pick'em Scorchers where you can win up to 100x. Plus, every Sunday they're giving away $100,000. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a 100% deposit bonus up to $500. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Plus, the NBA is back, and so is the NBA Gambling Podcast. To celebrate, we're giving away a NBA Gambling Podcast hoodie. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash NBA dog for all the details. This is Brock Purdy from Iowa State, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the morning green with my partner and picks Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. A lot of spicy topics to discuss, Sean. Oh, there is there is no shortage of spiciness. Can I can I wag the tail? Sure. Just getting it, getting into it, Colby style. <laughs> is there's been, this has been a spicy season, spiciest college football season since the pandemic. Ooh, mm. I like that. Mm. Joining us here to talk all things spicy college football, the host of the college football experience, Colby Dant, aka the Dantabase. What's happening, Colby? Do I still have a lisp? Oh, wow. You're just trying to get out ahead of it. You're like the fat guy just making sipping that beautiful whiskey you guys make, 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 <laughs> making fun of your size before anyone I else can get to. I am an ECU fan. If you, uh, I. I'm an East Carolina fan. It was, it was delayed. It was like uh, it was like not confident. I, I am I, an East Carolina fan. We are of course referring to Colby's uh, Patreon oh. bonus episode. If you haven't uh, listened to that yet, I don't I don't know what you're waiting for. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Patreon. Get in over there. Uh, the the Colby Dan bonus uh, episode is uh, was really fun. Pretty hilarious. Yeah, and I, you know, so sh- someone recently uh, slid into the old DMs and mused me into an idea for a future show. Sean. Oh, really? Mm. It's not quite the same kind of story, but someone uh, suggested we uh, do a listen listen along with the uh, me getting hypnotized episode. Oh yes, that is on the list. <laughs> we also have the uh, Lenny Dykstra voicemails kicking around. Oh, that's a classic. That's uh, that's a great one as well. So. I noticed you got a package from. Uh, well, you checking from, out his package from uh, Penn State today. Yes. Did, uh, did your annual? Uh, wow, how much you donated? Second, uh, <laughs> second mile t- uh, tickets. Uh, uh, the <laughs> Second Mile Foundation. <laughs> Colby was a huge fan. Um, Gee, I, I never was. Uh, I thought what Jerry Sandusky did was wrong. Colby is a different thought. Interesting. Here. Colby's so old school football. A, he defends Jerry Sandusky. Old, old school. They they sent you a, a, some old whitey tidies from Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> were, uh, were you having one of those pillow fights with Sandusky in the oh, basement? Wow. Yeah, and we it was just me and a grown man wrestling Wait, in the shower. Dude, let's not just joke. some horseplay. <laughs> you know, he's he's an Irish guy. Don't joke about that stuff. It might, <laughs> something might actually happen. Uh, yeah, it's uh, our buddy uh, stand up comedian. Uh, Nate Craig opened up for Bill Burr at the Bryce Jordan Center over in Penn State, and he got like a giant swag bag with a bunch of uh, sweatshirts and mugs and everything. And he's a Wisconsin guy, so he's oh. like, "I don't want this. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I, I want, I don't want to throw it out, but I'll, I'll give it to you." And he drops it off on Saturday, uh, right after the Ohio State game. I'm like, "Oh, perfect timing. Uh, Going to see James Franklin shit the bed once again." Uh, but uh, the uh, the gear is pretty awesome. So thanks, Nate. Appreciate that. Great guy. Great guy. N- N- Nate Craig. Ch- go check out his humor. Are are you over Penn State this year then, Sean? Uh you know, we'll see. I'm still I I may, you know, if they can beat Michigan, things could get interesting. The, 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 to me, and this is not I, I'm it's really not sour grapes. I don't think Ohio State it's more frustration. Like I don't think Ohio State looked that amazing or no, that dominant. Michigan's like, dominant. In the Michigan time. is dominant. So if the if Penn State can somehow pull out an upset win against Michigan at home in Penn State, uh, that will certainly save the season. But Colby, like right now, who is who's good in college football? 
Well, that's that, <laughs> it. Would be nice to have like a, a forty team playoff because oh, here you, you have go. about forty teams that are probably no. I mean, there. Like, this is a great. Uh, this season in particular is great for why they should be expanding the playoffs. Thank God they are because there are so many teams that are close. There's a bunch of really good one loss teams well, in college and, football. And thankfully, like like the Michigan thing, yes, they look dominant, but at the same time, they won't have played a top 60 offense until November no. what, 7th. I think yeah. it is. Yeah. So like, we don't know like as much. Yes, they've been dominant, but when you're playing that bad of offenses left and right, you know, and, and you know, their signals. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. That helps. That's true. And you're buying kids cheeseburgers. You know I don't I mean? actually care about the cheeseburger. It does seem like they may have at least known what you were going to be trying. Yeah, that's that's fair. But and, and generally, it's easier to do something if you know what the defense is trying to do. True, so. it does true. Help. But well, Ur- it Urban Meyer did say he paid for a guy to to follow Michigan around, essentially. Well, it didn't. It well, he's paid for women to do stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that he's paid for a guy to follow a woman around one too, of those right? guys who will get penetration <laughs> on the dance floor. Shout out to urban Meyer. A oh, uh, wow. couple of news stories. We got to hit on uh, before we start breaking down the week nine picks, including uh, we, I don't feel like we talk about trivia very often here on no. the program, but uh, Michigan state uh, seemingly had some uh, jumbotron trivia that went to rye as one of the trivia questions was where was Hitler originally from? And no, uh, was that it was, I thought I, it was, who was the leader of the, uh, Oh, cause I just, I thought I'm seeing Austria over there. I yeah. just did the, the math that they were asking where yes. was he born? Really? Yeah. That's the okay. trip. That's I why had I heard that it was different. I heard, I, I had oh. heard that it was like who the, uh, that who's the coolest guy of all time. And Michigan so, state put up Hitler. It seemed as though, yeah, I guess why would you, why would you I love how Ma- magic Johnson issues an apology tweet when it's like, you know, I, I understand having Hitler on your scoreboard, not a great look, not a but, great look. but at the same time, it's easily uh, the, probably the, 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 the least most crazy thing that they've done in the past decade, considering Larry Nasser and <laughs> even the Mel Tucker thing going there's on. Lot, there's a yeah. lot of, uh, yeah, in, in fairness, like the transgressions of Adolf Hitler happened a in well, Europe and, and it's B, trivia. It's trivia. Why, it's why should you like exclude he, Hitler from trivia? Well, like, also, you know what I mean? Like, did he go to Michigan state? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he was like a GA. I <laughs> forget. <laughs> Now this was was this what did they have the portal set up in forty two Colby yeah, that's true he might have been ahead of the curve uh, with the portal um, but no I mean look I, I his feel triple like option failed deep if, into Russia if you're doing if oh, you're the doing trivia, trivia. no one could stop it no one saw that blitz well, that I'm wasn't saying. him that I mean, was that was General a lot of Rommel. Come on. In football. Don't. well yeah that's the thing the desert we're gonna fo- get a three star review I mean, now because you don't know who the desert fox is oh I know wait, who wait, wait, is. This, I know way more about World this War is a lot trivia like the you, Redskins right. name though you shouldn't just delete it from history we gotta have it so you know who Hitler is if not it could happen again Sean. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's actually a good question. I German. I would have guessed German. <laughs> that that was like every great raising Hitler awareness. Uh, what Michigan State Jumbo well, John and, should be doing, but more like also <laughs> equally offensive if you're a Michigan State alum who now has to look at this really empty stands. Well, it's not like it was promoting the the German side of it. It was just saying that who who was it? And look, well, I I think. Trivia, mm-hmm. everything should right, be game. So Anything in history should be game and trivia. But like, sure, right, you have these like three spots <laughs> during the game. You're gonna flash some trivia. I Ma- mean, crazy, maybe go well, with like a football. Uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy idea. Maybe you do sports trivia at the game. <laughs> crazy idea. Well, this is what's great is they maybe, maybe if it. Hitler would like was one of the better fullbacks. Then we could talk about him. He was a painter, actually. He was an artist. <laughs> yes, he was he the was, opposite. If you look soft, yeah. if, you, if yeah. you look closely, it's actually a photo of Jim Harbaugh <laughs> with a Hitler mustache. <laughs> Hitler could never handle two no, days. No, we'll but see. what's great is they outsourced it. Like they went, they hired a company that did trivia via YouTube. Yeah, and they nobody. They, you don't even have anyone that tests the trivia that they're doing. Hilarious! Come on, <laughs> no, but they deserve how, all of but this. This is yeah. how it works, right? Uh, they they absolutely did, but instead of throwing some student under the bus, they just say they outsourced. Them. Yeah, it's easier that way. You know, you you have someone else do the wet work. Uh, we also surprise me. There also was some breaking news. Maryland's offensive uh, co OC. He's not even the official offensive coordinator. <laughs> Can't Kevin, give him that much. <laughs> Can't give him that much. Kevin Sumlin arrested for DUI. 
And uh, the mugshot, I, I don't know if there's any positive mugshots, but like a little confused there. Where's got, Hillsborough I, County is the question. I got a Photoshop idea. Yeah. He's oh. a co offensive coordinator. Mm. Get that SoCo, Southern Comfort. Oh, Ooh, okay. I like that. <laughs> but it's like and, get, and get this mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were paid out a massive amount of money from Texas A&M, you might just be hanging around. I'm, why is he you even might, working? Like he doesn't need to work. But uh, he's probably I mean, he's in Florida, so is he uh, working? <laughs> yeah, I guess recruiting. These football right? coaches, they don't know anything else but ball. Yeah. They love he, ball. He I mean, if he it wasn't here, it'd be at a high school. He's got to <laughs> just be coaching ball somewhere. They love ball and getting uh He's getting looking drunk. rough. You think he was coaching guys up in the the old the old jail cell? Yeah, imagine. <laughs> hey, come on, we're gonna we gotta do a little cardio. Let's go, guys. Nah, fuck that. We listen to the sports gambling podcast. We know to fade your ass. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're never like, that fade. might mean something different in jail. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We'll never fade. Little Caesars, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. If you're watching over on youtubecom sports gambling podcast, highly recommend doing that. Smash! I mean, the pretzel crust with pepperoni. It is the perfect pairing. I just touted that I went three and zero with my uh, NFL props from the uh, props show. Nice she, work, Sean. Yeah, Kramer's on an incredible heater. Producer Josh is on an incredible heater. Props, NFL picks. They just pair perfectly with pizza. You know what tastes a little bit better uh, than pretzel uh, than pretzel crust pizza is when you're cashing parlays while eating. A little Caesar's pepperoni pretzel crust pizza. You can order online uh, during our pizza pizza pregame one hour before and three hours after NFL kickoffs plus all day Sunday. So Monday, Sunday, Thursday, perfect time to get down on some little C's. Get some of that crazy bread, the uh, stuffed crazy bread I've not tried that's on the list, and the Detroit style deep dish as well. You left that uh, brownie thing oh, there. Yeah, brownie. What is that called uh, down there? That thing, the cookie is f- dough. Oh, it is. <laughs> it almost, it almost killed CJ because <laughs> it was just so much chocolate <laughs> packed into one little brownie. It is delicious. I mean, it, it, unbelievable. If you're a chocoholic, highly recommend it. So get delivery or in store a pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends, enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars, pizza, pizza. I am really on a heater right now. Yeah. Uh, NFL more so, but even college, I'm starting to warm up. College, I'm okay overall, sitting at fifty four percent. Locks, little not great. Colby, sixty percent overall, eighty five percent on his locks. It is. This Dundee is the kind of, has been hot. This is the kind of stuff that people like. This is gonna get the show in trouble, because mm. people are gonna start looking at everything in a microscope now. Because Colby's doing so good, eighty five percent is impossible. <laughs> It we, is. We're gonna come through is, this. I know bullshit. he's making this look bad, but and it, then they're gonna find out about all the Benedicting, mm, and they're mm. gonna point out they're gonna be screenshots <laughs> no, no, of your no. tally site picks and screenshots of your picks over here. Well, and then they're gonna find out that I host the FCS show. Oh and, wow! And What's that got to do with anything? I mean, and then they'll find out that I'm hitting eighty percent over there. Oh wow! You know, <clears throat> probably just taking money line. They don't do spreads in the FCS, do they? They do, but oh my goodness! How did it feel to see uh, a D two quarterback carving up the NFL? You know well, I mean? we were all over Tyson Pageant. Uh, uh, we uh, nicknamed him, named him Special Pageant Seventeen, and you can get those uh, shirts in the merch store store sportsgamepodcast dot com. If you're a Bears fan or an FCS fan or a so Division Two, fan. would you say he's better than Daniel Jones, Sean? Yeah, I would say. Oh, I, it's, I mean, it's crazy, least, right? The, the just, small small sample size. Yeah. He looks he looks yeah. noticeably better than uh, you guys. Don't know ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do. And you, and, you guys, Ty, and Tyron oh, Taylor. I'm sorry. Were you eleven and two? NFL week week right, seven. You want to go over over? Uh, <laughs> no no no. You want to go total <laughs> NFL sched, uh, records? No nope, no nope, no. Nope. Okay. We're just uh, if you want to talk about it, we can talk. <laughs> he about makes it. a lot less money than Daniel Jones. Is all I'm saying. Yes, you know great what I mean? value. Well, I mean, really, the Giants should be going with Tyrod, but there are certain issues that the uh, Giants uh, yeah. owner has yeah. with him. But yeah. this is you guys, one, this you guys is, can do the math. On this that is one, one yeah. of your worst. This is almost as bad as the we build a DFS lineup together I, on the pregame. I find somewhere. it ironic that they've never had a black head coach. You know uh, what I mean, I, and, irony yeah. would be the best way to yeah. describe it. Yeah. Uh, Parcells out. has at least ten percent Sicilian. Shout out to the Discord, uh, aka the picks that we all agree on. We give the Discord the opposite because Discord talked a bunch of trash mm. and said to auto fade the picks we agree on. They are now twenty five forty and two this season, mm. aka thirty eight percent. So on 
picks where Colby, myself, and Kramer agree. We are hitting at a whopping sixty-two percent. I'd like to clarify the record there. Okay. We don't give them shit. They take those horrible. <laughs> All picks. right, there you go. <laughs> they are compelled to take them because they're they have to, and they love it. I mean, what's that? What's that? Units? Did you did you read the units that they're down? Nineteen units they're down on us. They're they're in trouble. Mm. AKA we're up nineteen units. Mm. All right. Shall we continue the heater? Yes, let's 26th. go. Twenty sixth. Is this Thursday, Colby? Thursday night Sun Belt oh. Fun Belt action. We'll love the Fun Belt. We're well, these are the- these are Colby's six favorite games. This is the six pack. The yep. Colby Dad six pack <laughs> is back, baby. Crack one open. Not meant to be satire, but we have had many requests. People that- are asking for it, so it's back. These uh, si- first six games in chronological date and time are Colby's <laughs> six favorite games. These are the the best ones on the slate. Statesboro, Georgia, first stop. Georgia Southern taking on Georgia State. Two great programs. Minus two and a half for Georgia Southern. Minus one twenty five on the money line. One hundred five for Georgia State. Sixty two and a half is the total. Uh, Sean, I'm I'm very underprepared. I wanted to bring up the Veasan betting splits. Oh, okay. And well, I'm while talking you're, while right you're doing now, that, I'll talk well, about the Georgia well, State I got Panthers. Wow. Georgia State, those Panthers, 45% of the bets, 56% of the handle. Ooh, some sharp action over there. I, Colby, my instincts tell me to take Georgia State because they've been really good on the road. They've covered 12 of their last 13 on the road. But on the other side, uh, Georgia Southern, no slouch. They've been really good at home. I, I'm just inclined to take the team getting the free two and a half points. But Georgia Southern, I mean, they look good against James Madison and Wisconsin, even though they did lose those two games. It's also a back to back road spot for Georgia State on short rest. That's what you said. I'm leaning Georgia State, but do you think this schedule spot's too tough for them? The the lane two and a half instead of the full three is a little scary. But what are we doing here, Colby? I mean, I think we go uh, like first off, this this Georgia State's won three straight. And Georgia State, even though Southern's been the his uh, a very good program historically. Uh, Georgia State leads the all-time series despite starting their their football program in like the past 15 years. So, uh, winning three in a row, I think this is a big get-up moment for Southern. Another thing is back-to-back away games for Georgia State. They just beat Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns, for the first time ever. So, and that was at Cajun Field there. So you could be let down spot for Georgia State, but they're going to get up for this game though, right? Sure, they. I think they will, but I just think I think Southern's catching them at a good spot. I think the line even tells you that. Uh, so give me the ultimate lawn chair and Davis Brin minus two and a half. All right, you talked me into it. I was, I was. Uh, this is a playoff. Oh, this, this place and... gets lit, man. This, this is, a is a very good college football crowd. Has, this is a very has, good college football crowd. Has JMU played either of these teams? Uh, they played Southern. Beat them down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is a. But JMU can't go. This is a huge game in in the Sun Belt East. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's a playoff. Game. Yeah. Winner probably has the is in the 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 lead spot for the. Yeah, it's this this is the lit factor, right? Yeah. And yeah. we love giving the Discord some week weeknight action. And I'll shout out one of our fans, Clay, who works the first down marker uh <laughs> it, in Statesboro for oh, Georgia right. Southern. Hey, spot, hey, hey, give me some intel. Can you do a little Texas Longhorn, you know, Houston for us if if it comes down to it? Can he give us a sign on the broadcast? Yeah. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Fight Club grows. <laughs> I mean, the DJ's only club I'm just, is really. I'm it's glad a real we're. Thing. I'm glad we penetrated the um, the first down marker guys because those are the those guys are. <laughs> I mean, those are the real heroes out there. Let's get the cl- time. Yeah, let's get. Is cl- it is he a is he a manual flipping the guy or is he one of those digital board guys? Uh, I think it was manual, but I don't know. I should I should follow up with oh, him yeah, on that. Ask yeah, ask if he's I, analog yeah. or digital. <laughs> let's get him. A, maybe we could get a maybe a TCE we could, hat. Maybe yeah. SGPN hat. Colby, honest. Honestly, it's going to sound like a joke. It's not. We will, if he can steal one or borrow one, <laughs> autograph it, mail it to us. We'll pick. We'll pick up the shipping. I like it. I like it. What, or, or if he, you know, if, I don't know where you buy them from. Some <laughs> athletic. We need one. We need a. We a need a down, down marker in the office. Was it the? I was trying to remember this. I, uh, is was this in college or pro where the guy actually pulled out the index card? Do you that guys was remember the NFL. that? Yes. Yeah, I, that was. Come on, that's one of the greatest moments in in, in football history. All time, right there. all yeah. time refs. Oh, well, and that I mean that the, the, it it that caused like a lot of conversation, <laughs> and people started like uh, 
smart people started being like, well, you know, the NFL has a lot of money. Why don't they just use some like laser technology? <laughs> put or an index card. It's like, well, they're, they're too busy paying uh, Taylor Swift to act interested. Oh, in Travis Kelsey. Oh, let me tell you this: classic. So, so I. Uh, also, well, real quick, I'll yeah. say this: uh, that VAR stuff, that's fun. But what's more dramatic than watching him bring the chain gang out? Yeah, it is fun. I'm old school. Like, uh, well, I'm not baseball umpires. Roger, get Roger out of Goodell here. Goes, chain gang. No, stay. apparently Roger Goodell's stance is that he appreciates the yeah. old school aesthetics and the drama created yeah. with extending the chain. It's an entertainment. I, I, that's the only old school shit he likes. Um, oh, look, uh, uh, don't go after Goodell. Talk about a soulless little bitch with changing the Redskins oh, name Kobe, and being behind that. You're gonna have um, to get suspended. He's from Washington D.C. too. Even worse. Um, but. Uh, Dude, I was I, so I I go to this bar to watch the game yesterday, like watch the NFL games, and it was classic because yeah, you, there's this guy sitting in NFL front of me. Games? Yeah, yeah, you guys don't know, all right? You guys don't know just, about my that's, my that's, football grind. All right, that's cute. Uh, so I'm watching I'm watching the NFL games, and it's great because I'm sitting next to this guy who's probably late fifties, early sixties. And it's the Chiefs Chargers game, and every time they cut to Taylor Swift, he's like, they keep showing this bitch. They're like, <laughs> and, and he goes, he goes. He goes, what does she have to do with the game? What does she have to do with the game? And I gotta be honest, I saw myself ten years from now. Yeah. Right? Oh, ten years from now? <laughs> Fifteen years from now. Six well, months. I was gonna say for like four days, five days. <laughs> Come on, what are we talking about? <laughs> Two hours. It was great though, because he was he was ready to he's gonna have a heart attack watching uh watching uh the All right, we good? Yep. I, I I noticed that um yeah, I, I would if you have a down marker. In yeah. your possession, take a picture of you with it and just tag us in it. That it would just be cool to see that. <laughs> I, I'd like to see what kind of yeah. collections out there. there. There's a bunch of different styles. I want. I kind of like the old school circular style. Like yeah. I'm picturing like an old Texas Oklahoma game. All right. Oh, speaking of which, oh, I didn't even. This was not planned at all. Saturday, 9 a.m. on the West Coast, we're heading to Lawrence, Kansas, with Oklahoma as they take on Kansas. Kansas ten point home dogs, three to one on the money line. Minus three eighty for Oklahoma. Sixty six is the total. Oklahoma. Ah oh man, there's so many teams that it's just like yeah, these college football. One thing that's going to happen with this NIL stuff, the the demand for winning is going to get even more, mm. and teams are going to suck even harder because coaches don't have time. There's a reason that they're not pro coaches. Uh, there's, there's a reason there's only, I mean, it just, there's going to be so many more failures at coaching. We're not going to talk about Miami today, but somehow Mario Cristobal did it again. They won the game. They got lucky, Yeah, but he did it again, dude. It's hilarious. They could have won. They, they didn't even try to win the game in regulation. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's very hilarious. How, like, how are you not hyper? How did you not hire someone in the last couple of weeks? <laughs> Fucking hire someone. If if folks don't know what the, what he's talking about is uh, explain. So the game was tied up at seventeen. Miami got the ball back at their own forty to forty five, somewhere in that gray zone there. Just ran the clock, uh, and, and they had one timeout and a minute <laughs> left, and they ran the clock out to go to overtime. It did work in his favor. They won in overtime. Joe, but Joe, just hilarious, third, third hilarious. Down, QB sneak. All right. Anyway, speaking of those teams, Oklahoma, maybe one of them. A lot of frauds out there. We like Leopold though. Yes. He's not a fraud. I think that's all I can lean on nowadays. I, I guess you know we're still well, in a volatile a, situation. Yeah, I, who knows with Jalen Daniels? They gave an update. He said questionable, <clears throat> doubtful for Saturday. I'm not expecting him to play, but Doesn't Kansas matter. Kansas is coming off a bye. They're a ten point home dog. Oklahoma also has a look ahead spot to Oklahoma oh, State. So Kansas good. against this Oklahoma defense, I think at the very least they'll be able to put up like twenty four. 28, maybe. This uh, is the perfect spot you take, Kansas. Yeah, this is like, I, I mean, Colby, am I wrong? Are we wrong? Kansas no, plus no, 10 all day. I love right? this. I've, I've been saying Oklahoma's counterfeit. They should, I mean, <laughs> they very well could have lost last week, and uh, they just don't have a lot of meat on the bone. That Everyone's looking at that Texas win. Well, Texas probably should have lost to Houston if the if the refs were, were on their side, like, uh, as in calling a fair game. Oh, um, geez, Colby's bitter than that. Oh, dude, that was, that was like, Play the X Files music because that one, Sean, that no, one makes sorry. no sense. That one, that one, you're like, we ha college football is not like the NFL. You you review every play, right? You're supposed to review oh, every play. Man, you know that's not happening. 
and they just selectively don't just review like, the like, most important play of the fucking game where, where Tim Brando and Spencer Tillman, the fucking announcers are saying, Oh yeah, he clearly got that first down. And everyone that saw the game. saw it was like a two yard, a two yards, pa- like a only, yard and a half past the only first down. one way to explain it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Big money, man. That oil money. All right. But uh, no, I think you take Kansas here. I know they haven't beaten Leipold almost got them. What almost got the past two games have been, you know, somewhat close. Oklahoma's won a they haven't lost to Kansas since ninety seven. This is is mm. where it happens. This is where it happens. He's got the program back going. UCF exploited uh the the weaknesses, I think, uh, in in Oklahoma's defense. And another thing is Oklahoma couldn't run the ball successfully against one of the worst rushing defenses yeah. in UCF. I think it hits him here. Look at the road spots Oklahoma's gone to. The Red River's not a road game. That that's fifty fifty. You look at the, the Cincinnati, they can't score by themselves in on a football field, all right? They haven't been to any tough road environments. They lose here. Outright. Outright. Yeah. Dog. Let's go. Colby calling for historical outcomes, but I I, I will agree. Uh 38% of the bets on Kansas, 62% on Oklahoma, Sean. Public pub not a public dog, so we're safe. Yes. All right, Discord gets two in a row. Moving along. Another 9 a.m. kick here. We're heading to Winston Salem, North Carolina, where Florida State takes on Wake Forest. Wake catching 20 at home. Just got their ass beat by the Hokies uh, a couple weeks ago. Wake Forest plus 850 on the money line. Florida State minus 1450. 66 is the total. Last week, it seemed like they were in a bit of a situation with Duke, and then blink your eyes, and they've got a massive lead. That's because Riley Leonard got injured again. And, and the backup is way worse than yeah, Riley Leonard. Well, clearly, yeah. yeah. Complete landslide. Florida State again, lane twenty here in this spot. Wake, the, I I watched all of the Virginia Tech Wake Forest game. Wake Forest is not a typical Wake Forest team this year. Well, they had no Sam Hartman, right? Isn't that the difference? Uh, yeah, and well, their backup Griffiths is out too. Yeah, it it doesn't matter that that uh, Hartman tra- like wh- whatever the sit, but this for years Wake Forest has been a certain thing. You watch, I watch Virginia Tech take on Wake Forest. They look a certain way. They're always like sneaky style of play. Still, they won Wake- with their third string quarterback against Pitt. That's yeah, impressive. Great, great yeah. system. Yeah. But what their I watched against Virginia good. Tech was garbage, and they look like a team that's not going to be able to compete with truly elite teams. And Florida State has shown that they can burst points. And stop the the foot on the the, the gas pedal. So. But does Wake uh, Wake has a decent defense? Twenty two point one points per game, forty seventh out of one hundred thirty three FBS programs. Is that enough to keep this a game? I think you got to pay attention to the quarterback situation. They went with Santino Mariucci last week. Say that again, Santino Mariucci. <laughs> Santino. Kramer's all excited. Hey, uh, yeah. One of, one of my oh, guests. Santino. He from got the win. He's from yeah. the neighborhood. And and potential Wait, is that is that him? <laughs> He looks yeah, very Italian. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Um, Kramer's all horrible. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. If if Griffiths is playing, which you want to pay attention to, because we know the second string, Kern, is out for like three or four weeks. What's the Italian kid? Uh, He's the third string. Se- no, no, no. Oh, Mar- Mariucci's the third string. Oh. Wanna know is the starter. Is he now. related to coach? No, I thought so. Okay. I, I did I did a deep dive on that. Um, That'd be excellent. Uh but I I actually think if Griffiths plays, we take the points. Wake Forest has won three in a row. The system has been a, a thorn in the side of uh, oh, so of Norvell. But if it's the third string, I think you got to take Florida State. It's kind of like the Duke handicap uh, when you knew Leonard was playing. You, you're like, okay, give me Duke, and I think Duke would have beat Florida State if Leonard p- finished that game because they they were never trailing with him at starting quarterback. Yeah. Um, so if Griffiths plays, I think you take the points. I don't think Wake will win it outright, but I, I think they can do enough. Wake almost beat Clemson at Clemson. I think they can hang tight as long as we know Griffiths is playing. I'll take Wake plus twenty. How do you twenty's ex- a lot for a, do ex- a home dog with a with a decent defense? How do you explain what happened to the Hokies? They didn't have Griffiths that game. Is that simply it? Because no, giving up thirty points to the Hokies is pretty <laughs> impressive. I think there was also like a kind of a sleepy spot. Okay. They thought like, hey, in Blacksburg, in, yeah, that's how bad yeah. it's got. You're telling me Blacksburg's a sleepy spot now? Well, they got a big game Thursday. Maybe they fuck can, didn't make the sheet for a reason. But, you know, I noticed it, it hasn't made the sheet at all. Mm. You're pl- putting all this bullshit major mm. conference football on here. <laughs> the six. Pa- I mean, people are really reaching out to say what's so you're wrong. Taking, with you're the taking six Florida State. You're taking, taking Florida State. Okay. Ooh. I'm all wake plus the 20. Uh, and Josh, uh, producer Josh, I, I sent you a link to 
something a, a listener just sent in. No, oh, no. We got a we got a we got eyes on a. Is this uh, gonna down, be like the first down marker, the Hitler thing where we didn't vet it properly? <laughs> I outsourced uh, the trivia to some uh, other uh, third party YouTube team. So Colby, uh, Colby's watching the show over here. Uh, all right, let's move along. Georgia, there you go. Look at that sweet shout out to Stooley Picks all time. Uh, goodwill find youtube.com slash sports game podcast. That thing is a beauty. Is, is, it, is fantastic. It, is it permanently a second down marker or can mm. you change it? I mm. would definitely rotate it depending on how I could see myself playing along with the quarters. Oh no. Now, I know it's a down marker, but it's a mood thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, maybe you gotta go on <laughs> four means four means four. stay away. I'm I'm locked in right now. Confidence <laughs> rating on your picks. One means I'm just, you know, you know, we can still have a conversation. Love it. All right. Uh, Georgia Sands, uh, Brock Bowers, first game with Adam, which al- also great porn name, without having to change anything. <laughs> He's no Blake Just, Bortles. Uh it's Brock Bowers. <laughs> Bro, you got Brock. I feel like Bortles. I think Blake Bortles is better yeah. than Dak. I that think Bortles sounds sounds just. Uh, they both are yeah. hilariously rhymable. We'll Brock Hard Bowers. Yeah, you got Brock rhymes with cock. Oh, our pool guy, Brock Bowers. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bro- Brock's. Yeah, every- Brock Bowers has a weird relationship with his stepmom. Yeah, Brock's all have great pecs. <laughs> Georgia taking on Florida. <laughs> what a weird take. <laughs> ah, it's true. Blonde hair and great pecs. Jacksonville, Florida. Is this the biggest cocktail party? Is that what they call I it? I mean, they, this is this is a blast, actually. If you ever get a chance, it should be on your bucket list. It's a cocktail bucket party, list for so going to, to football games in America. It's a Brock tail party. Minus fourteen for Georgia. Minus six twenty five in the money line. Florida plus four seventy. Forty nine is the total. It it does seem like he matters to their offense. And much like the rest of college football, have they really been tested? And when they've been te- when they've been tested by very subpar members of the SEC, it's they've had some dicey moments. Yeah, I mean yeah. Auburn gave them a game. Yeah. And I, and I think I think we're starting to recognize that the SEC has some really bad teams in it this year. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I I like Florida here plus fourteen and a half. It this to me is just their Super Bowl, right? Like, what other games are they this, looking for? This is a huge one for Napier. You win this. Yeah, who's like, starting at quarterback? Uh, oh, Graham Mertz. Mm. <laughs> so this is a simple handicap against Georgia's defense. That Graham. is that is a, a very it. it now wonder why they played on Halloween, right? Because this is this could be a massacre. But I'm with Sean. Give me the Gators and the points. George has got to prove it. Chomp, to me. chomp. Yeah, I I really would not want to have any. I love how I say George has got to prove it to me. They won two national championships. They, you, but you know what I mean. Still though. on the fence. Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> only that, but what Graham, have you done for me lately, George? Well, Graham Mertz has repeatedly proven to you that he can really. That's true. Shit, He's shit proved to me that. But fourteen and a half. Come on, Graham. All right. Come on, Graham. Give me even if it's 28 14, oh, we're cashing. I'm going back to my classic ways. Lay the points every time. <laughs> oh, I, I wanted I meant to look up the money splits for this one. I've been off on Georgia all year. I was laying the points with Georgia. They can't beat anybody by the spread. Now watch I'm gonna take Florida and, and Georgia's gonna wow. win by forty. You see that low confidence right It bothers there? me. Is everything all right? Georgia called? bothers me because they Go- phone it in when they're playing Vanderbilt and UT Martin and all this other bullshit. Don't you have a really uh good record this year? I do. That means I win with Florida. Go sixty-seven percent on uh, on Georgia. Mm. Feels like I'm in the right spot. All right, Duke, Louisville, heading to Louisville. It's twelve thirty on the West Coast. Lou- Louisville minus four, minus two hundred on the money line. Duke coming off. Uh, I, I don't know. It feels like the, the Duke games have been pretty wild this year. My, plus one seventy uh, for Duke. Forty-seven and a half is the total. Riley Leonard obviously is is a is a like a, a difference making player. We need to know if he's gonna play. No, like what does this line tell you? I don't he's think playing. he's gonna play. This line tells you he's playing or not. You think playing? he's gonna play? I don't know. I just uh, this feel, line. Like, this is such a huge game. You got to understand if they win this, if they win this, they'll have the inside track of well, playing I, in the ACC championship. Yeah, I think they they rushed him back. He re injured it pretty easily. I don't know All how, right. and maybe he does play again. But if he does play, he's not going to be effective. All right, let's hit pause for a second. <clears throat> we real quick, like side business meeting. 
we need to create a network of people on campuses to have injury news. Yeah. Yeah. Colby, that's your assignment for the off season. Well, I need it for the NFL too. Cause I Develop. started, I started B. John Robinson in fantasy football. And I'm going to turn coat, son of a gun. I'm going to explicitly direct <laughs> he got a headache. I'm going to explicitly <laughs> direct you to create a network of people to scout uh, these college football teams with, like this. with illegal video surveillance. Mm. Can so you, we, so I can buy tickets on the company card on both sides there, for all my friends well, on, on both I, sides I, of the. I just want to. I want to know if yeah. people are going to play or not. And if we don't freak out, Green, when you get when you get that um, bill on. Uh, look out! On, <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Yeah, as long as the tickets are good, Sean will ha- be happy to go and uh, record uh, some signals if that's what you need. Uh, this is also a low key Illuminati game. Hmm. So uh, whatever side of that. Uh, Epic war that's been going on for thousands of years. I think I think Louisville's defense is gonna. I mean, whether it's a banged up Riley Leonard or the backup, I, I think I think they're gonna be able to get to Duke. Uh, I guess. Give me give me oh, Louisville. No, I is, mean, I I feel like if Leonard's healthy, Duke is the better football oh yeah. team. Well, but, Leonard, but I just don't see a I don't see a version where he's healthy. Well, if he's just like healthy, like he was the like the whole Florida State game, he wasn't healthy. But if he can just be. There to not really turn the ball over and and strike enough fear in passing the ball because the the drop off is one of the biggest drop offs I've seen in a while. It it's not like this your, your typical though. backup quarterback. But this the, guy is it's a huge drop off. But I, I disagree. I think in the transfer portal era, we're gonna see this where guys that aren't starting are gonna get the fuck out of there. And all that's stuck around is the guy who's like, yeah, you know, my dad went here. True, man. But we've seen like Arizona State's on their backup quarterback. That looks decent. You know what I mean? You've seen some decent back J- Kansas with Jason Bean. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's you've seen Mr. Bean. It's surprising on a team that you expect the like, like coaching matters, I guess, in that regard. So maybe there's a gap there. I don't. I don't know. I'm on Louisville. Until I know, you can't. Like, you I think can't you have take to Duke. take Louisville yeah, right now based on the information we know. I'm in a I'm in a Reddit thread right now, seeing if I can find information. I mean, they say th- he's day to day. Okay, but so I'm, they've I, said that for like two weeks. But I, yeah. I yeah. have confirmed that he re-aggravated an injury, so okay. ankle. Let's take Louisville then. Yeah. yeah, I I I would be if he's healthy. You would be. I would take on, Duke all day. Based yeah. on the thirty seconds of skimming I just did, I I love Louisville, Oregon. I think this line closes seven. Discord's chock full of picks. Oregon. <laughs> Heads to Salt Lake City, where Utah's coming off a nice little uh, win uh, U- against USC. Maybe broke the program. We'll, we'll have to stay tuned and keep an eye on what ECU, uh, former ECU coach uh, Lincoln Riley, uh, how he responds <laughs> to this. ECU adver- fan. How he responds to this adversity. Uh, meanwhile, professional uh, grown man coach. Actually, a couple couple grown men coaches here. Actually, uh, Utah just. I love that win last week. Great now they're at home Utah. plus seven plus two twenty on the money line, Oregon minus two seventy. Forty nine is the total. Well, first off, we have to mention Cam rising out for the season. Yeah, no fucking shit. Like they remember <laughs> when he was listed number one in the depth I, chart. I love how they told us why the would backup. They, why you would remember? they string yeah. us along the entire season? We anointed him the Dierra King guy who's not we, gonna play all season. We guy. were uh, thankfully we were on top of it, but it was annoying to have we, to talk about it every week. <laughs> oh well, if Cam Rising plays and they, they've been he's been warming up, it's like what are we talking about? He blew out his ACL in the Rose Bowl. I saw yeah. it. What I own two th- this eyes. Is Have why you guys we- caught the story though of uh, Siona v- Vaki? Who's this? He is the safety from Utah. That sounds just, like a wine. Like that Somalia. just tore up USC at the running back position. <laughs> they moved him to the running back spot. The ESPN doesn't even have his stats, but he. I'm telling you, he he. This guy just shit all over USC right now. Like like well, last that- week, they moved this safety there. Who's got so 25 safe. tackles and a pick on the season? And they just said you're going to be. And he dominated at running back and out of the backfield. Do you hear how excited Colby is to talk about this? Well, two way football is the way everyone should play football. Colby, you yeah, know what I mean? Colby loves loves everything going both ways. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, dude. Utah at home, right? I mean, yeah. the only thing that would scare me off Utah is a possible letdown spot after that awesome road win against U- USC. Kyle Whittingham at home. 88 and 25. I, I, and you're giving them seven points. And like to me, I mean, I get, I get Oregon's good. Oregon beats them when it's in like Eugene, whenever it's in Salt Lake city. Look, I mean, 38, 10, the last time they played in Salt Lake city, 30, 32, 25, the time before that, they're just good at yeah. all. Yeah. I'm on. I mean, it's, it's a, a, a touchdown. 
Give me Utah up there. We all, we yeah. I'm, I'm looking at our preseason Pac-12 predictions, and we nailed the Cam Rising thing and the Utah under. Oh shit. Maybe well, not, maybe I, I thought, I thought that would. What was? What they was still the gotta line play at Washington. Eight, they eight they still gotta play at Washington. They still gotta play somewhere yeah, else. Yeah. It, uh, we Sean and I were good with the USC prediction under nine and a half. Colby on the over. Good luck, Colby. <laughs> that might be a loser. Uh, so I lost my. I lost the tab, Sean. So we're we're all on Utah. I think. Yeah. I I mean, how could you how? I could not feel comfortable laying seven points on the road with Oregon. If Bo Nix uh, can Bo, Bo Nix wins this, is he back in the Heisman race? I mean, Bo Nix on the road has not been known to be a great quarterback. This is this is gonna. Uh, this is a slightly different Bo Nix. All right, but so yes, I agree. I'm I'm just gonna throw it out there, but we're gonna grant we can fade a bad quarterback in hostile situations. So we already have a Utah. And we have a, a Georgia. You guys don't like the Georgia side, though, so maybe we don't do that as teamwork. Mm. All right. Just a reminder: uh, this show brought to you by Better Help. Oh man, uh, life can get super stressful. You got family, you got work, you got your uh, your phone going off all the time. So many times, I felt this a million uh, different da- days of my life where brain is getting in its own way. You know, just, you're trying to think positive thoughts, trying to stay in the moment. Your brain's like, Oh, Hey, what about this? What about that? Uh, what about lo- Eagles losing to the super bowl? Was that I mean, Did he really actually tug on his Jersey? It, it's so easy to get yourself worked up into, uh, into just negative thoughts, negative conversation stuff. That's just really not going to help you out. And honestly, talking to people, uh, especially licensed therapists is the way to go. Makes you feel better. And just helps clear your mind. Uh, if you're thinking of starting therapy, uh, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, super convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. All the excuses you have for why you don't want to try therapy out or you don't think you need it. They take care of all of this and they make it super easy, super affordable. Make your brain your friend with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash SGPN to get 10% off your first month. That's V E T T E R help.com slash S G P N. Sean, we got someone checking in from, uh, from Italy. Oh, really? Ciao. <laughs> what part of Italy? Uh, I where did it go? oh Capri Island? There you go. Wow, look at that. awesome! And look at that avatar. Yeah. Sick ass flaming. It's probably that enjoying a delicious uh, espresso in the morning. What do you think mid mo man stands for? No idea. <laughs> mid section motion man. Six twenty a.m. right now in Germ or in Italy. He could be Ooh. referring Ooh. to his. Uh, <laughs> he must have some. I'm gonna go with midsection motion man, and that's oh. yeah, flaming skull. And he's one of those guys who will get penetration. That guy probably gets. Uh, who knows? Maybe he's part Sicilian. Twelve thirty <laughs> on the West Coast. BYU heads to Austin, Texas, where the Longhorns will be without Quinn Ewers, minus seventeen and a half, minus nine fifty on the yeah. money line. Yep. Okay. BYU plus six twenty five. That's why I just reported it. Fifty and a half is the oh, total. Tough guy over here. I'm not coming in the naked here with the college nuggets. I do know that he's going to be out a couple of weeks. It sounds like he's going to be out for uh, maybe till after the Kansas state game. It also sounds like uh, they're not going to let that pussy arch man again. Mm. And Colby and I watched the spring game together. What's the name of that kid? Malik Murphy. He, he looked yeah. pretty fucking good. I know it was whatever preseason shit, but yeah, I, I potentially an upgrade for Texas. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this Texas team plays one of the best games they play all year. Horns up. And they beat the shit out of BYU. And we're talking quarterback controversy in Austin. I mean, BYU on the road is not something I'm dying to get down on. They're making it 17 and a half because I think they need some BYU action. It does feel like uh, Texas rolls. It feels like they're dying for a good soak. Um, I did try to get my girlfriend to give me some road BYU one time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm with you, Kramer. I actually think uh, Texas is the play here, even though it's a big number with the backup quarterback. That's is why it's 17 and a half because it is the yeah. right side. Colby, no. Uh, look, here's one thing I know: 
BYU and Texas have played five times. Oh, here we go. And if it wasn't for Small one sample size, if probably. it wasn't for a missed extra point, uh, BYU would uh, would be five and zero against uh, against Col- Texas. Colby, yeah. Two of those two of those games happened before you even dreamed of jerking off. Okay. So I mean, you got three games over well, the last. Well, I do years. remember in 2014 when uh, Taysom Hill ran for like 7,000 yards against uh, Texas. Uh, I mean, Look, that's NFL talent. Do they have any NFL talent running around? They do. Puka Nakua uh, is still still down there. BYU is no. dude. Texas is not that good. No. Nope. Texas hasn't. They look. They, what have what what is so convincing besides the Bama win that Texas and and look at Bama. They I struggle am, every week. I am a superior. I, I'm I'm just right now. I'm locked in on the motivation and effort of teams, and I think the coach, who happens to be the guy who calls the plays, and the team. We'll have a little rally effect here around their backup, who, by the way, looked really fucking good in the spring game. He didn't look great so far against what? Rice and against Houston. Okay. First start of his career. Okay. Give me the 17 and a half all day. BYU is live in Austin. Sean, what do we, uh, wh- how many times has he had the uh, week of prep going into a start? What do you mean? Oh, never. Hmm? Okay. Okay. He's going to look different. You know, yeah. Keaton Slovis is 74 years old. <laughs> Right. Also, another he probably has a fake ID that says he's seventy four. He right was now. in uh, Kevin Sumlin's sidecar when he got pulled over. <laughs> Fun fact: USC heads to Berkeley. Fuck USC. No, <laughs> twelve thirty. Wow. Massive. One time I pick you, and you just lay a complete Col- egg. Yeah. I mean, what were you doing? I mean, they they are the so- are they the softest team in the country? Colby, you need you guys need to do a charm and soft uh, top top U- ten. UNC's softest. up there. Who's squeezably soft this week? It it is one hundred percent USC. They're so soft. Caleb Williams is being like he's not going to be the top. Is he going to play? Because what what is there to play for? You can't make it to the playoffs. Yeah. Opt out. Yeah. Opt out, pussy. Yeah, ridiculous. Well, in fa- I, I will say this about Caleb Williams: as much as some of the press that, that's come out about stuff that he's you know, demanded or whatever, or going to demand is, is like, <laughs> makes him look bad. The NFL team. It at least makes it look like there's someone around him. That's maybe not the smartest. There does feel like there's a Lonzo ball dad uh, looming around the Caleb, but Williams. he, in fairness, he's not the one that's saying he's going to sit out. It's these fucking media members. It's true. Emmanuel yeah. Achos. I, yeah. I was more making, fun he's of terrible. Him. Guess where he went to college, Texas. Uh, terrible. <laughs> Move along. See, yeah. Col- you can't get Colby to give you a uh, unbiased take <laughs> Move on Texas along. football. Yeah. I actually, I'm going Cal here. This is Cal Super Bowl. They're coming off a bye. They have nothing to lose. USC's butthole is so incredibly tight. Um, Program's dead. I think they they died last week. They've lost a ton of their mojo. I like it too because Wilcox plays them tough. I think he gets up for the USC games. You yeah, look, they and lost they're coming by off six. a bye. They've had two weeks to yeah. look at this. They lost by six last time in LA. Uh, they beat them the time before that. Um, I, I, I think you got to take the points. The locker room also seems to be a bit of a mess right now. Oh, can, I, can I say so. I have another? Maybe maybe this is a hot take, but Pac-12 uh, getting rid of USC and Colorado, getting rid of some of that soft, that charm and soft uh, play <laughs> right out of the conference. Or it's going to be the a Pac-2. Tough, Pac-2 tough is going to be well, legit. Tough as what is now. Washington State going to do next year? The uh, I, what play, I what I would guess would times. be this: if they quickly uh, either they're going to play Mountain West teams and join the Mountain West. They might try to go independent. Hmm. So um, here's a strategy. We do this in uh, youth, youth sports. Um, maybe you have a couple small leagues. What you do is you play each other a handful of times, but then you do you you, you maybe a neighboring town. You get a little a neighboring league. Maybe the smartest bet for them games. is probably the Mountain West thing because the Mountain West wants them. They can redo their schedules and add that, and that strengthens everyone in the Mountain West schedules. So that's probably what's going to happen if I had and, to bet. And doesn't there? Isn't there some accidental value of being the West, like the dominant West Coast conference? Do you think there anything comes of that for the Mountain West? Like, do you think there's a chance uh, well, the Mountain I think West if, elevates? If the, if the, certainly, with the way that uh, you know San Diego State's aligned themselves, I expect them to fire Hoke. But the, as far as an athletic department, I think they're, they're and then Colorado State's throwing around you go big time the, money. If you look at who's in the Mountain West, which by the way, Colby was out at uh, out in Vegas. At Mountain West Media Day. Oh yeah, chopping Got it my up, socks. building relationships. <laughs> yeah. We're ready to go. You look up and down the conference: Air Force, UNLV, Fresno State, Wyoming, Boise State, San Jose State, Colorado State, New Mexico, Nevada, San Diego State, Utah State, and Hawaii. 
with the exception of maybe Hawaii and I guess Boise State, most of these programs are on like the upward trend. So Kramer, what yeah. are you doing? Are you on hmm. Cal? Well, wow, Sean just not into just college flush football. Flush the toilet. Right, well, let's move along. I guess I'll take Cal. I didn't even say the spread because Sean was so aggressive oh, to get into the handicap. Minus eleven, Shopping minus four seventy, plus three sixty. That's the, the dirty secret. If you want to pull back the curtain on the show, Sean hates football. Needs to get back to something else. Forty three is the total. Yeah, you got you. I think there's a chance that USC is broken, and I think there's a chance that the coach moves on after the season. I think all of that's really. Great. You think Lincoln Riley would move NFL? On? Yeah. Thinking? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Chicago Bears. Uh, someone might be stupid enough to do it. Uh, this this might. Oh, you're be right. Like whoever drafts to Caleb, Caleb Williams. But would you? Do you really want this? This soft ass situation. It, uh, he went from being like, oh my god, like USC is <laughs> back to, it, it like what's wrong? What what is going on at USC? So well, you can't take that. You have to fade that. And this is a rivalry game. They like Cal. Yeah, Cal, I mean that's my handicap. They're coming off a of bye. Fi- final time too. Final time, and Cal, they put Cal in that predicament, and also no Bear Alexander for the first half. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That that rule you love. That ridiculous targeting. Uh, well, did you see there was a guy in the NFL suspended for four games for repeated targeting, basically? <laughs> Uh, sorry, don't I don't mean to. Don't Why, start. Kramer, come on. What are yeah. you doing? Boise. The well, come on, Colby. We're going to Boise, Idaho for a great game of college football on a blue field. Surprised you don't hate it. Hate that. Wyoming. It's catching, different. Catching yeah. five points against I think Boise it's genius, State. actually, because I Marketing. told you about this. No, it yeah. made it, yeah. made them relevant. Plus 170 on the money line. Boise State minus 205. 48 and a half is the total. Also gave them a. It's, to this day, they get a strategic advantage because they're blue jerseys that they wear at home. Blend into the fucking field. The, yeah. So I mean, on defense, it's is that, easy. is that what the Michigan Navy guy told you? What do you mean? He said that's a strategic advantage. I think he learned it in Annapolis. Well, the guy seemed to. He seemed to. That was one of the things. If you read the article, that he was, he would, uh, he basically sold the idea that he could uh, gain strategic, or he on his LinkedIn profile, mm. he w- he was uh, effective at gaining strategic advantage. That's what I'm saying. Um, and strategic. by the by the way, I know we didn't bring it up, but I did actually have the quote from uh, Jim Harbaugh that totally doesn't make him seem guilty at all. I do not have any knowledge or information regarding the University of Michigan football program alleged, uh, illegally stealing signals, nor have I directed <laughs> any staff member or others to participate in an off campus scouting assignment. I have no awareness of anyone on our staff having done that or having directed that action. Mm. Okay. Okay, Jim. He did not have sexual relations I, with that. You know man. what? I'm a, I'm not a Harbaugh guy, <laughs> but I'm 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 with Harbaugh. He is I'm, turning into a sympathetic character because everyone's coming after him. <laughs> why the establishment is coming after him is I don't. Well, he know. called them out, so it's that, that's why. Yeah, like it's that. like yeah, uh, yeah, it's I like, like this. when it's, it's like one It's like when the yeah. Giants got a really shitty schedule because they shit on Roger Goodell. That's not an accident. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I can relate. It's literally how I've lost every job I've lost. Wyoming, yeah. So Wyoming catching five here, Colby. I Wyoming like, is in the bet when they're at home. Don't don't mess with them. They're they're, they're, a, they're a fade on the road for me as well. Boise State losing that brutal game to Colorado State. That was uh, I've watched that ending a number of, a couple times. It's so crazy that they lost that game. I think they were up twenty points with like two minutes. It was. Did they recover two onside kicks, Colby? What was it? Yeah. Yeah, and it was an insane game. Seventeen point. What was it? Seventeen points in the final like three minutes or something. Yeah, yeah. that's college football, baby. No, yeah. it was it was a great game. When the weather turns. But Boise State's coming off of that, and then they had a bye week. They're going to be laser focused uh, to whoop Wyoming's ass here. I'm I, I like I like Wyoming as a home dog. They're very uh, and just at home in general. But uh, Boise State's going to get up for this game. Money, I think Wyoming's the better team. Money pouring. They might be, but I, I don't. I don't think this is a good spot for them. I mean, it's always tough to win on the Smurf turf, but I just feel like Wyoming is the more bet. Like it's, they're just a better along the line of scrimmage, I think, than than Boise these days. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Wyoming. You're gonna go points. road Wyoming. I am. Colby's been very good this season. Do we want to disagree with him again? Uh, he's he's due to go cold. Give me Boise State minus five. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the mon- I mean, public dogs have fleas. The at all the money on Wyoming. Yeah, that all is scary. the money's on Wyoming. 
And I, I like Boise State coming off this uh, bye. It's because you're getting five. Even if Boise wins, I think it'll be by like three or one or something like that. Mm. Get ready to clip this after it happens. All what, right. what year did uh, Andy uh, Avalos start as as head coach? Maybe three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Wow. Just doing some on the fly reading, light reading on Andy Avalo. No, I was going to. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'll just. I was just going to pull up the splits mm. of uh, Boise State at home. And it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty good for Boise State there. Rome is burning, buddy. Rome what, is. What burning. does that mean? Boise's just been amazing, and they're not the same team anymore, man. I, I think Avalos is going to get fired this year because they just—they're not the same team. They're losing that hail mary game. They're losing to UCF in a game they were up the entire game. They're losing at Memphis. They were up seventeen nut in that game. They're—they're uh-huh. they're not the same team anymore. But they're not Boise from before. All right. Blood in the water. Okay. Wyoming knows. <laughs> Rick, this is recruiting ground. All right. No, it, it is a big recruiting battle. Love that part of the country. Mad respect to that Beautiful part, of the, part of the country. Boise cold, State but. since 2013, 53 and two at home. Those two were probably in the last two years, right? 53 and 12. Well, the UCF one was was this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's so why. Well, at least yeah. one was yeah. this yeah. year. Yeah. All right. So Kramer and I in Boise State. Yep. Colby on Wyoming, but we're all on underdog fantasy. The leader for pickums. Love the pickum scorchers. I hit my uh went three for three, hit a nice plus six hundred with the uh Monday night football uh picks we gave out. I had uh Kirk Cousins to throw an interception, Brock Purdy under one and a half passing touchdowns, and Alexander Madison under 45 and a half rushing yards. Somehow that hit. That was a crazy sweat. I think he had like 20 yards. Um, yeah, I think he had like 25 yards on that first drive. Thankfully, they got away from him. But uh, yeah, and 100 percent deposit match up to 500 dollars. So you put in 500 bucks, you got a thousand bucks to play around with over on Underdog Fantasy. And uh, NBA is back. Uh, we're going to be giving out a NBA Game on the Podcast hoodie. SportsGameOnPodcast.com slash NBA Dog. Uh, to get Dog. the details on that, and uh, of course they got college football pickums. Hard to find these, but Underdog has them. Colby, let's go to uh, let's talk. Um, Hank Bachmeyer, two forty and a half passing yards. Are we going lower or higher on that? I'm gonna go lower because this is a Tuesday night, four o'clock West Coast. Kick. Yeah, yeah, New Mexico State or yeah, New Mexico State at La Tech. Um, I, I, there's a chance, you know, they've been playing two quarterbacks, so you have a bad possession. He might be out. So I, I like, is I like that, the under. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's great. Jerry kill also really good, really good. His teams are, are sorry. Tough. I, I just learned all, all a couple of interesting things. Uh, one, the reason that Boise state has a blue field, mm. their, their colors are blue, but the athletic director at the time said no one believes artificial turf is grass so why make it green love it um the NFL rule for not having like for ha- like the rule that says you can only have a green field is called the Boise State rule I knew that yeah uh which is interesting which means it it ex- didn't exist before that and the last thing they own a they they own a trademark on blue turf hmm. so the high school's license. I I witnessed the blue turf high school field. Mm. Are they paying a licensing fee? Cut that fee? check to Boise. I doubt it. No, they just they're doing. They're saying like yeah, like, it like just pirate sounds radio, cool. right? It just sounds cool. <laughs> they're not really going to actually up? sue anyone. It would just be if another college <laughs> got blue turf and was trying to market it, they would try and sue. Kind of like the twelfth man situation <laughs> yeah. with Seattle. Well, that they I think they do actually pay. I think licensing they. Fee. I think they do. But they don't. They're not going to come after you sports. We we live. Uh, the studio is here in Eagle Rock, California, and if you look at the Eagle Rock uh, high school like logo and stuff, they they rip off the Philadelphia Eagles branding left no. and right. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, no one's. Have no you one sent cares. any pictures back to the mo- the, the mother the <laughs> no. mothership? I might get some. <laughs> get some sweet Eagle Rock gear. Four p.m. on the West Coast, Lexington, Kentucky, Tennessee, coming off that. I mean, they they were riding high after a half and then came crashing down because Bama's back, baby. Tennessee laying three and a half here against Stoops in Kentucky. Kentucky plus one fifty five, minus one eighty five for Tennessee. Fifty one and a half is the total. Tennessee is catching all the bets. Seventy percent. 
Mm. But only fifty percent of the money, Sean. Square action. Square action. I mean, Tennessee, man, you just saw it coming a million miles away that they were going to fuck that game up. And Milro looked better in the second half. I was trying to tell I told Colby, I go, there not only is Alabama gonna win, they're gonna cover this spread. They end up winning by fourteen. I don't know if Joe twenty seven nothing in the second half. I don't know if Joe Milton knows this, but it you know, one thing Alabama may have fa- fell off on the offensive side of the ball, but it's not smart to hold on to the football against that defensive line for seven <laughs> yes. minutes. You know what I mean? He was really so, pushing his luck. So he needs two more wins. Right? Yes. Okay. Tennessee at Mississippi State, Alabama, at South Carolina, at Louisville. He needs this one. He needs this fucking game. And this is a game he can get. I agree. Mm. Yeah. So the logic is this. I know well, Tennessee. The logic is he wants well, that fucking well, Tennessee contract normally extension. fucks up Kentucky, man. Like historically. And yeah, I guess yeah. I, I'm worried about Tennessee coming off that Bama loss with the chip on their shoulder. That's what I was going to bring up. The last and it's, so they haven't faced Kentucky in back to back away since 2017. Mm. How they, they do that? They played after Bama, so they lost at Kroger Field there, blue light special in the end zone, and uh, Kentucky. Kentucky, I feel like there's a record. There's a stat out there for teams after they play Bama that's unbelievable. They, it, it's normally a body blow game, yeah. And then you 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 got up for it because you want to beat Alabama. So the yeah, next week you great normally look. lose. Well, so give me Kentucky. The other yeah. angle for that trend, and Sean, you and I used to do this with with uh, Stanford as well. Was Seattle the, uh, in their prime? Was the idea that w- when well, they had really good defense with these con- well with the the college ones, it's more about the style of of football they play and the general just like they they have physical offensive and defensive lines and they're going to beat you up. And so if you're if you're leaning into the idea that they have got up emotionally and now they're let down a little bit, well they also got physically beat up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Kentucky kind of runs power, man. And Kentucky's like a shitty version of Alabama. And Kentucky uh, Stoops needs this one. This th- yeah. he gets this one, he's 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 signing that contract after the season. Kentucky plus 3 and a half all day. Ohio State heads to Madison, Wisconsin, where the Badgers are catching 14 and a half plus 490 on the money line. Ohio State minus 675. 43 and a half is the total. They are not that Ohio State's not very good. Because I Penn State also not very good. Yeah, I wasn't impressed with either team there. That being said, this dairy raid is not a good fit for this Wisconsin Badger team. And I, I wouldn't be shocked. Oh. I don't know. This actually seems like a spot where Ohio State might get right and and oh, run it up on Wisconsin. Really? Here's the thing: is the past six times they've played in yeah. s- since the 2000s uh, yeah, in Camp Randall, they either Wisconsin either, either wins or they lose by like three. Uh, in 2016, lost by seven in overtime. Uh, uh, 2012, lost by seven overtime. They normally just give them everything they can handle. I know but, Wisconsin's but I, I on a guess backup. That, yeah, but I guess what's different is this. That was like when you had that Smash Mouth style of True. team that they tried to switch away from for whatever reason. True. That would be my case for Ohio State here. Very, very, very true. But I, I, I just feel like Ohio State. No, it's I, a letdown spot. You just won that gigantic game. Uh, you hit the road here. You're probably still gonna be able to win, but that's a lot of points, man, for an offense that hasn't really lit it up. It's true. All right, I'll I'll take Wisconsin, but I I'm slightly worried Ohio State could get. I'm here. I'm slightly worried about taking these fourteen and a half point dogs between Florida and, and Ohio State, but I or Florida and and Wisconsin. But I feel like Dog. just based off what we watch, you got to you got to take Wisconsin in the points in this spot. No, I'm with Colby. I think there's a, I think regardless of the outcome of the game, that last week was like an emotional yeah situation They're for spent. this Ohio State team, and. If you watch the game, I mean, a my key takeaways were, um, if not for Marvin Harrison, both of these teams suck. And Maserati Marv. Well, Gus is so electric, <laughs> and and this Drew Aller kid, saw he's a five star, <laughs> yeah. a fucking five. Wh- who makes the star rating? Yeah, hey, come on, it's I, all fake. And James Franklin also clearly clear. If if Ryan Day has your like like eat your ass for lunch, <laughs> you're not even close. Give me Wisconsin here. And by the way, a little scheduling note. Ohio State back to back road spots. Come yeah. on. Rutgers next on. I deck, thought they so. didn't play back to back road spots. 
they're, they're going for. Well, that, they're you, showing no, everyone how they tough ha- they are. No, 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 how tough they no, are. No, no, no. This is exactly my point. Normally, they uh, when they deal oh, them, go. they'll make sure the back end is Rutgers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that. that you get look, look up the history right. on this shit. I'm Greg telling Shiano's you, a they do pickle, this. You don't. You got yeah, if they ever give it to Oklahoma. Oh, it, you know, the, it's it's Iowa State. How about my the, lock the on uh, Rutgers over? I will say, yeah, let's let's go. Go. I will say. With the the two super conferences, it's going to be harder to say someone's being given an yeah, easy pass. Yeah, yeah. Colby's going to lose. I'll say this. I mean, that's the uh, thing. The conference games, as as wonky as it is, it's going to create for some awesome in conference no, games. I actually think, like, as much as I hate the realignment, there is an element. I've I've looked at some of the schedules next year for the yeah, SEC right. and, and and Big Ten. I I think for the lay fan that probably doesn't get into college football. They're pro- they're gonna have easier access to big time matchups and stuff. But I, I'm easier serious, like access to well, big time like, matchups. Look, what are you a TV executive? <laughs> Ohio What's happened, State, Colby? He's selling Let's it. be honest, He's like selling it. Ohio wow. State plays nobody. You know what I mean? Like you know the, what? Colby's got this. Michigan Alliance plays deal nobody. About. The, the the fact they can get Oregon in there and yeah. and and Washington and 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 you know USC and stuff, it's gonna make it a little more compelling. And Colby, think of all the teams we'll get to see at the Rose Bowl. But at the same time, that will be cool. At the same time, the Apple Cup is still probably better than all those matchups. And hopefully they keep playing that because it's a great rivalry. Colorado heads the UC. Speaking of the Rose Bowl, Colorado is coming to town this weekend, 4 30 on the West Coast, heading over to the wine and cheese factory known as Pasadena, California. See this? Minus 17. This can't well, be true, right? I don't. I think the people who Jay Z doing a halftime show. No, the people that would be going to a UCLA Colorado game in LA probably don't realize that uh, both teams have suffered some losses. <laughs> Maybe not all the the luster of some of the early season stuff. Colorado plus six twenty five on the money line. UCLA minus 60 three and a half is the total. Uh, Seventeen, if I didn't say the spread. Decker on Sunday asked me as the college football lines were opening, what is the number in the UCLA game? Seems like it should be seventeen. Nail mm. sharp. Mm. When we look at the spreads, what is what's the opener? Fifteen. What does it move mm. to? Seventeen. What does Decker like? They got a defense this year. Really unfortunate. We don't have a quarterback. Of course, this is the year we don't have the quarterback. Mm. But we have a defense, and of course, our guy Carson Steele. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, no relation to Lexington. That we know of. We haven't. We <laughs> didn't. We didn't confirm that. But seventeen points. After a bye week where Coach Prime has had his foot firmly up this team's ass, and we can we've seen this Colorado team. They can score quick. They can score in garbage time. I don't. If UCLA gets up big, are they gonna are they gonna be able to hold on to that lead? I feel like seventeen is just way too much for this Colorado team. A lot of distractions in Los Angeles. <laughs> no, but they they lost the game, a horrific loss. Then they had a bye week. They're gonna come out Colby, dialed in. Do we have any data on Prime off a embarrassing, gut wrenching loss, where he's called his not team really, out and said they really. got to figure out yeah. if they want to be here or not? Yeah. Do we know is, if any they're guys get have quit? great effort? Well, no, you don't know. Actually, that. they just landed a huge recruit. Because part yeah. of what happens when you hire nothing but mercenaries is you have no fucking clue what they're gonna do when times get tough. Mm. I'm um, not. I'm not willing to bet with with my life that Coach Prime ha- also, has the team I've been at that's going to respond. I've been at UCLA and watched them blow. This is going to be a Colorado lose, crowd. Lose right? outright to 17 point dogs. Arizona. This, this yeah. Colorado team reminds me of Arizona. That's Who's why that, I think what's the quarterback have, for Arizona. J- J- well, Jaden Delora. Delora, yes. Yeah, but that's who I'm talking. Yeah. about. Uh, give me the points. Buffs. Buffs will be able to keep it within 17. They're going to have to load the box, make Dante Moore beat you. Uh, Carson Steele is going to have a good game. Play him a DFS. Thank me later. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, I think you guys are getting a little cute with this one. I, we, it, they're still going to get everyone's toughest shot. I like it when you don't take Colorado because when you do, they lose to Stanford. Yeah. But oh, I was on Stanford. Yeah, I, was I was on, on Stanford. Secretly. I was on Stanford that game. I was okay with that because I had made a, a late minute, uh, last minute <laughs> determination that I was going to take some, some Stanford money line. And it worked out. It was an amazing sweat. It's part of this crazy heater I'm on, where like the most devastating things that's been happening to me is missing out on a, a six teamer. Mm. Shout out to Jordan Love, mm. who oh, still owes shit. Me. <clears throat> he was pretty good at Utah State. They keep a nice program, right, Colby? 
Yeah, they do. Last game, Sean, Sean's uh, Sean's got somewhere to be, so we're gonna rap- rapidly get through this one. No one's gonna watch it. Seven thirty on the West Coast. Arizona taking on Oregon State. Oregon State minus three and a half, minus one seventy five on the money line. Arizona plus one forty five, fifty six and a half is the total. I stand with Oregon State and the Pack Two, so I'll be laying the three and a half with Oregon State. I was uh, man, I re- referenced the uh, preview I was looking at earlier. Boy, oh boy, we were all over this Oregon State team over eight and a half. But you know what, man? Oregon State to win the conference. This game terrifies me as someone that's got I Oregon know. State is because Arizona's red. F- Ever since they switched to Noah Fafita at quarterback, great name too. By the way, shout out to him because I am friends with his father. Really? And, uh, yeah, but, yeah. Oh, wow. Noah what? Fafita uh, killing it, completing seventy five percent of his passes, eight but touchdowns, two interceptions, dual threat, can run too, uh, and then. Out of nowhere, this this rushing attack's going, and and they have two wideouts that I think will be in the NFL. I, I they I'm put t- it on Washington State in. Uh, I, they're turning that corner, Coleman. man. They're super young. They've been recruiting really well. Almost the, beat the, USC. The, they're turning that corner. I'm going to take the points. Maybe Oregon State wins, but they're going to get all they can. The, the, they you know that they can get here in in Tucson. The, these Pacific Northwest teams always struggle in the desert too. I feel like whenever they come to the dry desert, air, they, they, I'm with you, Colby. Yeah. Arizona has. There's always like a second half team, and and this year it seems like Arizona, three and a half point home dog at night under the lights. Defense is playing a lot better. Justin uh, Flo and, and and Oregon and, State's been yeah. good, but they also fit that model of they're not quite the same on the road as they are in Corvallis. There, yeah, beat them up, too physical. Lay the points. Could be stay chalky. I did take a couple dogs today. Hey, if you're looking to put together a parlay, have you signed up for Hall of Fame Bets and their revolutionary parlay optimizer? I love using the uh, deep data button. Let's say you want to look at uh, Alexander Madison and how many rushing yards he's had in his career. All you do is you just set, hey, rushing yards, 45 and a half, and then it'll tell you percentage of games he's gone over, gone under. Uh, it makes putting together parlays fun, super easy. You can break it down by expected probability, then you can shop around, and make sure you're getting a good price. And speaking of the good price, their price is very affordable and even more affordable when you get 50% off your first month. Try it for a month. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, all you gotta do, go to visit hofbets.com, use the promo code SGPN, or just download the app. Start researching, start winning today with Hall of Fame bets. Time for the lock dog tease brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Get in, sign up. Happy birthday. Kramer, what do you got? Lock Kentucky plus three and a half. Ooh. Okay. Lock Louisville minus four. I thought you were hesitant on Louisville. No. Hmm. Duke's trash. That was the whole point. Yeah. I'd, Last week was the uh, example. Riley Leonard will not play. Although uh, SG, I I did see that uh, SGPN football doc mentioned that day to day in college means that his leg is still attached. Yeah, it doesn't really mean that. So <laughs> uh, money, uh, give me the money line dog. Uh, Utah plus two twenty. Pack twelve money line dog. There. Like that. That's a nice one. Tease Texas minus eleven and a half. We'll go UCLA down to eleven, mm. and give me Georgia minus eight and a half. All right, for me, let's take uh, oh, good. Kansas plus ten mm. as my first lock. Second lock, Utah plus seven, and then for my actual money line dog. Even though I do like both those teams on the money line as well. Hmm. Torn between. You know what? Yeah, let's go Kentucky on the money line. Although I do think Arizona is live as well. But yeah, give me Kentucky money line plus one fifty five. Well, that's cute. Thank you. We we cross streams. <laughs> my dog is your lock. You know your what? lock is my dog. You know what? Let's actually go. Uh, uh, nah, Cal's not going to win outright. All right, I'll stay away from that. All right, for my tees. A lot of it's it's good to be adjacent to me right now. I'm red hot. It's a lot of interesting teasing opportunities. Uh, I'll take Colorado up to 23. 
take Arizona up to nine and a half, and then I'll take Boise State. Uh, plus one. Sorry, I'm seeing some pretzel crust talk in the chat. No, oh, the uh, <laughs> chat loves it, and appreciate you guys keep notifying uh, Little Caesars on social media that you love the pretzel crust reads almost as much as the delicious pepperoni pretzel crust itself. I just imagine some executive with like some beautiful mahogany <laughs> wood desk with a hilariously large phone. It's just in like, a toga. Get like me the guys Caesars. talking about the pretzel crust. <laughs> My grandkid says I gotta listen to this show. <laughs> Colby, uh, let's. Uh, you've heard of the Texas two step, right, Sean? What's the Texas yep. two step? Well, you know, it's isn't that when you're running step, like when you know? you're, you're running away from the yeah. law? Yeah, that. There's also the pistol thing. But isn't that what? Uh, I mean? But uh, I'm gonna take you to the Kentucky two step, Sean. All right, Ooh. we're locking up Ooh. Louisville minus four. The bonus lock is like Kentucky that. plus three and a half. All right. Feel good to be on Colby's side. The dog is the Wyoming Cowboys. Money line. Let's go. The T's. Utah plus 13. Kansas plus 16. And Wyoming plus 11. Let the Mm. good times roll. We have a little. How about our how about the Kentucky two step parlay? Okay. Are we on board with this? What do we got with Kentucky? So Kentucky Texas two step or Kentucky two step? No, it's a Kentucky two step. There's also a Texas. What's the no, I know step. that it's called a Texas two step. I'm saying I'm did you the know new one is a Kentucky two step. What's Texas the Kentucky two step? Louisville and Kentucky right, are in the same. Oh. Yeah. Come on, Sean. All right. Well, and, and, we and, usually whoa, whoa, we do whoa, whoa, whoa. usually we do money line uh dogs. That's oh, what no, I, was I got it. Western Kentucky plays t- tomorrow night against the, the Flaming Libs of Liberty. Okay. And look they're live. They're at home. They're five point dogs. Let's add Western Kentucky to that mix. The hilltop. Yes. Okay. So Western Kentucky money line with, with Kentucky regular money line and Louisville minus four. Love it. Let's go. A Kentucky three step. Do we want to do a well, uh, Kentucky two steps already a song? Really? Yeah. What about the Kentucky three way? <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do anything with uh, Utah, Kansas? I think just those money, th- those two. See, see, Sean. Sean's just like, all right, yours suck. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build my own over. Here. Oh, okay. All right, I'll take a Utah Kansas <laughs> money line parlay. See, he didn't want to say it, but mm. he—that's what he was thinking. He wasn't mm. too into your parlay. Mm. No, I do. I like, I like Colby's parlay. Um, did you know the Kentucky, the Texas two step was actually a stat? It was uh, invented in Tennessee. Very confusing. Interesting. And if you Google Kentucky two step, uh, the first Wikipedia page is a list of confidence tricks. Two so. girls, one cup was also Tennessee, right? Mm. Mm, uh, that actually was probably out. Does have Appalachian well, vibes. I there. was going to go Florida. <laughs> so yes, the Kentucky parlay, the Kentucky three step, Western Kentucky, Kentucky money line, Louisville minus four. Go I'm, tops. I'm rolling the dice on a Utah, Kansas money line. Nice. Okay. Great work, everyone. Great work indeed. And uh, yeah, sign up for Patreon. Get the Colby Dan origin story, bonus podcast. A lot of fun there. Uh, sign up for the uh, NBA contest, sportsgamepodcast.com slash NBA dog. We didn't talk about the time that I got expelled in sixth grade for having a gambling ring. Yeah, there's yeah. there's definitely going to be a Colby we Dan got, part we got, two. We got to follow that up. Yeah, well, yeah, write that down somewhere so we yeah. don't forget this yeah. time. Because I think peop, that would actually help explain the origin of you. <laughs> That's not a pick. This is a pick. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the money green. He's Ryan. Bill Jerkovic, still a tight end. Dong. Kramer, <laughs> let it ride.